So again, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the TLG product training. All right, TLG stands for Team Lead Gen. Okay, to introduce the company to you, I will skip on the agenda. Mission and vision. Okay, and I will go straight directly to the company overview and nature business. You can hear me, guys? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. So this company is owned by Mike Chartrand, and he started a company way back in 2015. So it's already 2019, and the company is still growing very, very fast. So going on its fourth year in the business, so that will prove that we are a stable. This uh, company is a, a stable business. So you're on the right campaign. So... What will you do here in TLG or Team Lead Gen? Uh, I would like to ask Jenny to read what do we do on the screen, please, Jenny. Um, only the half screen. I yes, this one. Uh, what do we do? I see. Only, only the half screen. Yeah. What do we? What do we do only? Okay. Let me uh, scroll down. How about this? Can you see it now? We arrange. Do you see it? Okay. Let me call. Let me call on Rajesh instead. Rajesh, can you see my screen? Can you please read? What do we do? Rajesh. I think you're on mute. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you read? Can you read this, please? I can't read. It is low font. Can you see my screen, Rajesh? Okay, I will read it instead. I hope everybody is listening and looking at their screen. So what are you going to do here? What's your job? So basically, your job here, guys, is to arrange appointments. Not just appointments, but valid appointments. Later, as we progress on the training, you will know what a valid appointment is. So you will arrange valid appointments with our or for our janitorial clients so we have over like 70 janitorial companies that we are in partner with so you will set appointments for them what you need to do is to talk to the decision maker of the business and you will tell them that they need to meet with the sales rep from the janitorial company and there will be a 5 to 10 minute walkthrough. Guys, 5 to 10 minute walkthrough means that the sales rep needs to go inside their office to do an inspection. And from there, the quotation will be provided to the customer. That's where the quotation or proposal will come from. Clear? Yes. Okay. So, as I was saying earlier, what's going to happen during the 5 to 10 minute walkthrough? So, the rep needs to pay attention to the things inside the office, like the type of flooring, how many bathrooms, if they have water fountains, or if dusting is needed. And from there, uh, once the rep got, uh, was able to gather information, that's Oh, his basis for the uh, proposal or the quotation. And it will be sent to the customer 
with a contact which is um, normally within 24 hours through email. So this is how uh, it's, it will work on the day of the appointment. Now, guys, I just want to make this clear. If the customer said, oh, okay, you can, you can send your sales rep here in my office next week, but he, will, he can just leave the information to the secretary, to the security guard perhaps, or the receptionist. You just need to leave the information there. Question, will you consider that as an appointment? No, the customer said, yes, yes, you can come here next week. Your agent can come here next week. But he will just leave the information to the receptionist or anyone on the front door. Will uh, you consider that as an appointment? No. No, very good. It's not an appointment. Now we're on the same page. It's not yet an appointment. Although the customer said, yes, yes, you can come here. But you can just leave the information. Leaving information is not considered an appointment. So, since customer already said yes, he, uh, customer agreed to be visited by the sales rep, you can explain further that, ma'am, um, actually, the sales rep needs to do a walkthrough with you. The, customer, uh, the sales rep needs to go inside your office and check your facility in order for him to present the janitorial proposal to you. Now, if customer said yes to that, well, now you have a, an appointment to set. Now, guys, listen up. If customer already agreed to that, what you need to do is to transfer your call to one of our scheduling manager. And the scheduling manager will be the one to give the date and the time of the, your customer's appointment. You will not give them the specific day and time. No. You will just tell them that the appointment will be for next week. The person who will give the date and the time is the scheduling manager when you transfer the call. Now... As you transfer the call, guys, can you go on mute, please? After uh, transferring the call, the scheduling manager will also be the one to verify the customer's account information. What are those? Like the company name, address, telephone number, and everything other things on the appointment sheet. And the appointment sheet looks like this. Okay. It's also included, this is included on the training module that I have shared with you. So, your managers will be the one to plot this on a Google Drive but this is, uh, this is how the appointment sheet looks like. Okay. Now, going back. I want to share to you guys. Please remember this. We have a system-wide do not call. Uh, companies. This means that if you reach this type of commercial uh, businesses, please do not set appointment with them because it's restricted. We do not handle them. So uh, I'm providing you a list. If you receive a lead that falls under this list, do not attempt to set an appointment with them. Because more likely, we cannot offer them a janitorial service. Okay, is this clear, guys? I'm yes. Sure yes, it's clear. yes, it's clear. 
Thank you. All right. So, any questions so far before I proceed to the next topic? None so far. <laughs> okay. We just started. You can uh, park your questions later on. Now, uh, guys, what I would like to share with you, once you're on the call, you just need to remember five things. Okay, just five things. What are those? You can count it on your fingers. First one, you need to talk to the right person. Talking to the right person, you have to look for the person in charge of the janitorial service in their office. So the person in charge can be the owner or a manager or a person that is authorized to make the decision in hiring a janitorial service. So it can be anyone as long as he is the person who has the authority to make decision or to hire a janitorial service. I hope that's clear. Okay? Once you're talking to the right person, because that's the, uh, you know, when you start the call, that's your introduction. Hey, I'm looking for the person in charge of the cleaning in your office. That should be, that's how you should do it. Once you're, you see a name on the dialer, please do not assume that the name on the dialer is the person in charge. Say, for example, the name there is Olivia Lopez. Do not ever attempt. Hi, good morning. I'm looking for Olivia Lopez, please. No, never, never ever do that. Always start your call by saying, Hi, I'm looking for the person in charge of the cleaning in your office. So when you do that, obviously, you will reach the right person. Okay, clear? Clear. Yeah. All right. Once you're talking to the right person, the second most important thing that you need is to get the genuine interest. So what do we mean by genuine interest? The customer would like to make the appointment. The customer would like to meet the rep or get their service, want to outsource their janitorial service, as long as they give you a yes, an affirmative yes, that they would like to set an appointment with us. Remember my scenario earlier? Customer said, yes, you uh, have your sales rep come over, but just leave the information. So it's not a genuine, it does not show genuine interest. Because customer, yeah, customer said, yes, you can come here, but just leave the information so it's a no. We cannot set the appointment with the customer unless, unless customer, uh, you were able to explain further that, hey, ma'am, yes, uh, thank you. We can send the, the sales rep there next week, and he needs to do a walkthrough with you, ma'am. He needs to go inside your office to check your facility. And from there, we can provide you the janitorial proposal. The customer said yes, then that means it's the customer has a genuine interest. Clear? Clear. Yeah. Okay, I hope this is very, very clear, guys, because this is, I would say, the bread and butter of your appointment. You need to talk to the right person, and that person must say yes to the appointment. Okay, now the third thing that you need to remember is what we call frequency. Guys, frequency is the number of times that... The customer is cleaning their office. So you, you will ask them, how many times do you do the cleaning in your office, ma'am? All right. I need to share you this, guys. We have a minimum cleaning requirement. Okay. 
we have a minimum cleaning requirement. Our minimum cleaning requirement is one time per week. So it's one time per week. Question. What if the customer said, oh, actually, uh, we do... Uh, we do the cleaning one time per month. It's one time per month. If customer is cleaning one time per month, are they qualified or not? No. No, very good. They're not qualified because they're, our minimum cleaning requirement should be one time per week. But if they are cleaning one time per month, they are not qualified. Now, what if your customer is agreeable? Customer wants to receive a quotation. You may want to ask them. Here, I have chatted in Skype. Please check your Skype, guys. It says here, if the current cleaning of your customer is one time or two times per month, you should ask. Okay, you should ask your customer. Hey, uh, Mr. Customer. Are you actively seeking to increase your cleaning to one time per week? Because right now you're cleaning one time per month. Are you actively seeking to increase it to, uh, to one time per week, which is four times in a month? If customer said yes, then you have yourself a potential appointment. However, you need to mention the monthly minimum price okay we have a monthly or we have a, a minimum cleaning requirement which is one time per week and we also have a monthly minimum price meaning this is how much uh, we charge them how much do you see here guys in the monthly minimum price how much do you see 250 250 very good. Thank you. 250 per month. So meaning, if your customer is cleaning one time per month, we will charge them $250. However, if they are cleaning one time per week, which is equivalent to four times in a month, we will still charge them $250 for four times in a month cleaning. So imagine, they will save money, right? If they will choose to have a weekly cleaning, at least one time per month, uh, per week cleaning. So four times in a month is $250 as well. Okay? So please remember this. Yeah. Okay. Clear your minds. Clear your minds. Uh, Ma'am, how many times do you do the cleaning? We're actually cleaning one time per month. Oh, okay. Are you actively seeking to increase your cleaning to one time per week? Yes. Yes, I, I would like to do that. So how much will that be? Oh, good question, ma'am. Actually, our monthly minimum price for once a week cleaning is 200 Fifty dollars. Is that okay with you? Customer Custom said yes. Well, you have yourself an appointment. You will transfer the call to the scheduling manager so the customer can be scheduled. Clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. Now, lastly, solid date and time. Solid day and time, guys. This is the uh, the day of the appointment. So what you will offer your customer or what you will mention to your customer is that the appointment will be for next week. It's for next week. Okay, I have opened a calendar here. Today is September 11, Wednesday. Supposing you are on the call and you are talking to a customer. Hey, ma'am, uh, we have a sales rep that will be in your area next week. So will you be available for an appointment with him? Uh, when will the appointment be? That will be for next week, ma'am. 
That will be for September 16 up to the 20th. Oh, can I have the appointment tomorrow? No. We cannot do the appointment tomorrow or on Friday. So even if today is Monday, September 9, we cannot do the appointment within the week. It's always next week. Okay, if the customer is not available next week, we can still offer the following week. So we can still schedule up to 14 days. Okay, but do not bother on that because the scheduling manager will discuss with your customer. Just tell your customer the appointment is for next week. Clear? Clear. Okay, what are the five things that you need to remember again? First, talk to the right person. Second, the person must have a genuine interest. And if they say yes to your appointment, you will ask how many times they do the cleaning. If they are cleaning one time per week, you have to mention monthly minimum price. Now, you will also mention to the customer that the appointment will be for next week. All right. Later on, guys, we will do a role play that will include all of this. So everything will be more clear to you. Okay? Okay. All right. So moving on, let me share with you the leads that you will receive on your call. So once you are on the call, guys, you will receive the following types of janitorial services. So, as you can see here on the module, we have four types. But to make things clear to you guys, just remember two types. Just two. One is outsourced. The other one is in-house. In-house. One is outsourced and the other one is in-house. Okay. Yes. What, okay. what is the difference between outsource and in-house? Outsource, when we say outsource, guys, the customer already have a cleaning company. Okay? They already have an existing janitorial service. They already have a company who cleans their office. They are in contract with another cleaning company. So that is what we meant by outsource. Now, the other one is in-house. What is in-house? In-house, meaning customers do not have a cleaning company. Today. Okay, they do not have a cleaning company. What they have is their own employee or they have their own maintenance department who cleans the office. So in-house, maybe they are cleaning all by themselves. They are taking care uh, on their uh, cleaning their own, own office. Or the owner of the business hired a relative or a friend. It's just a person, an individual. It's not a company. Okay? So please... Remember the difference. Outsource, they, they have a cleaning company. Because we are also a cleaning company, guys. Also offer cleaning services, right? We are a company. And we are offering our service to them. But they tell us that, oh, I already have a cleaning company in place. The other one, in-house, they do not have a cleaning company yet. They're just... It's just their employees or it's just a friend or a relative who cleans their office. Okay, clear? Clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, building management and corporate office, guys, these are also considered outsourced. Okay, building management. What is a building management? The building management means, guys, that the service... Uh, the cleaning service of that business or office is included on their 
lease agreement for the office. So, meaning they are just renting inside a building. And their cleaning services is part of their rent. So, having said, who is the who is in charge of their cleaning services, guys? Is it the office or is it the building manager? The building management. Their, building management. Very good. Because they are just renting inside the building. And the cleaning service is part of their rent. So the, the person in charge that you will look for is not the owner of the business. You should look for the building owner. The building owner or the building manager or what we call facility manager. You will look for that person. You can ask a number to call for that person. And once you have an information about the building, you can call that out manually on the dialer. Okay, clear? Yes. Calling out yes. manually the dialer, guys, is on the VG dial tutorial. So everything is in there on the tutorial that I have shared with you. All right. So lastly is the corporate office. Say you are on the call and customer tells you, oh, I'm sorry, uh, our cleaning services is done through our corporate office. Oh, I'm sorry, our cleaning is done through the building, uh, through the, uh, to the head office rather. And you need to call our corporate office for the cleaning service because we cannot handle that th here in our office. So meaning the decision made the decision is made through their corporate office. And in that case, guys, you do not have we uh, we do not actually handle corporate offices. So when you encounter a lead that is handled by a corporate office, so what you need to do is to and the call politely because we do not handle or what happened. Okay, because we do not handle here. Yeah, we do not handle corporate offices. So you what you need to do is to simply end the call and go to your next call. Okay, clear? Yes. So again, yes. our, the types of services that you will encounter on your calls are uh, what we call outsourced janitorial service and in-house janitorial service. Now, say customer said, oh, actually, Olivia, I already have a cleaning company in place, so I'm good right now. So will you say, oh, okay, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Is that it? Are you are you good? Will you just uh, put no. down the phone and take no. your next call? What will you do? Um, do some rebuttals. Very good. Do a rebuttal. Can you read the rebuttal read for the us? Rebuttal for us do you, can you see my screen, my dear? Can you read the rebuttal here? Who? You. Okay. So, oh, I understand, but we do not mind being used as a backup. As I have mentioned, our representative would simply be providing you with a free proposal in case your current company starts to perform less than your expectation. So, would... Next so week be good for you. Okay. you Just, like, okay. Yes, I'm sorry for this. So, please... Um, remove the day and the time. So, they'll say, so would next week be good for you? Thank you so much. So just tell the customer, guys, we do not mind being used as their backup. Why? What if the customer is cleaning one time per week only, right? Say on a Monday. We can do Friday if they would, if they would consider. Now, we can also tell them, um, actually, ma'am, we just would like to give you a, a free proposal. 
who knows in case your current company or your current provider is not doing a very good job, right? They're not cleaning the office, they're not throwing trashes regularly, or they do not clean that, you know, that good. Uh, they do not clean very, very neatly or very nicely. So what if we can give you a better service? Guys, you can only rebut once. Okay? We do not persuade customer. If they say no again to you, let them go. Okay? We do not persuade. We're not selling cookies, okay? We're not selling anything here. We are selling services. So if they don't want it, let them go. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, the other okay. one that's outsourced. The other one is in-house. In-house, as I have mentioned earlier, customer, they do not have a cleaning company yet. Okay, it's just a person. It's just an individual who cleans the office. Customer said, oh, actually, Olivia, um, we do not have a cleaning company right now. We're just doing the cleaning all by ourselves. So what do you need to do after that? Customer said, we're just cleaning all by ourselves. The next thing you need to mention or to ask the customer is this one. You can see the red font. Are you actively seeking to outsource your janitorial services now or in the near future you have to ask this word for word you don't know please do not change the question do not say so you're you have plans right now correct so you're looking for a company to clean your office now right no never never ever do that you have to say this spiel verbatimly. Are you actively seeking to outsource your janitorial services now or in the near future? Customer said yes. Then go ahead, transfer the call to set an appointment. The customer said no, no, we're not actively seeking. We don't have that. Okay, so no need to rebut just let them go if they will show a little interest or they will ask for our email address then you can if you can get their email address so we can send them information but you know what guys if i were you if they are if they are asking to be sent an email information i'd rather offer appointment instead of email because nothing will happen to the email but with the appointment we can give them what they wanted clear yes yes okay any questions so far guys none all right so before you go to the next topic uh, please take note of this callback number uh, only if the customer is asking. Okay, if the customer is asking, oh, is there a way that I can call you? But then again, I will not use this number because instead of them calling us, I would suggest that you call them back instead. Right? Because who would care to call us if they're not interested? Correct? They will not call us. They will not even waste their time to call us if they're not interested. So you, you offer the call back instead. You ask for their best date and time to call back. All right. Okay, let's move on to the best uh, or one of the best uh, or one of the important topics. Okay, here you go. I will share something in Skype. This is what we call sample appointment. Roger is on the call. Yogesh is on the call. I think he's listening. And Samantha. Okay. Samantha, uh, you have a different way. I'll, 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 I'll uh, share it with you later. 
But for the center, guys, once you start taking calls, perhaps later you will start uh, taking calls. Your manager will shout out your attendance in a Skype group. Okay? And you will be provided a campaign assignment. What is that campaign assignment? This is, uh, you will be provided a list. You will be provided a list of the campaigns that you will call out for the time being. So, uh, and, uh, that uh, campaign assignment looks like this. The one on the, the one I shared with you instead. Okay. Please take time to look at the sample assignment, the campaign assignment. I will start on the, the number. If, can you see the 9 to 12, 12 to 3, 3 to 6, and 6 to 8? Yes. Yes. Okay. Guys, th these are hours or timings. So, meaning 9 to 12, you have three hours to call this campaign, Tampa Hills Borough. Okay. 12 to 3, so once the clock ticks 12, you will log out and then switch to the next campaign. Something out. And then at uh, 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 3 o'clock, you will log out and then switch to the next campaign. And at 6 o'clock, you will log out and switch to the next campaign. Like that. So what are the campaigns? Campaign is Tampa Hillsboro, Mishter, Knoxville. So all on the first uh, information are the campaign assignment. And guys, please look at my screen. This is how it would show on your dialer. Okay. Let's see this very clearly. And I want you to listen very carefully, guys, because we're having issues on this. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. All right, so the campaign assignment or the campaign name, guys, is, uh, these are the campaign, Miami, Broward, Miami, Broward, Orlando, there, you saw Tampa Hillsboro, so that is the campaign name. The numbers on the left should be disregarded. Please ignore them. They do not have a meaning okay just ignore them it's just like numbers numbering the campaign but we do not need them okay please disregard them clear yes. they are nothing they are nothing they are not important they are not needed so please disregard them select your campaign based on the name that will be provided to you. So if it's Tampa Hills Borough, then click Tampa Hills Borough here. If it's Mish Her, then go back and look for Mish Her. You can scroll down and look for letter M. Okay, for Mish Her. Clear? Do not use this one. Clear, guys? Yes. Okay, why am I saying that? Because the next information, so what do you see after Tampa Hills Borough, guys? What is it in there? What is this? What do you see? Tampa Hills Borough and then? Number nine. Number nine, very good. And then after this year, what's the number? Number 99. 99. After Knoxville, the number is 122. After Portland, the number is 69. Guys, for the record, these are what we call calendar numbers. Calendar numbers. Why do we need calendar numbers, guys? 
because this calendar is where we will plot the appointment of your customer. And this calendar numbers are numbers that you will provide or you will give out to the scheduling manager when you transfer the call. These are the numbers that you will give. Not this one. Not the numbers beside the campaign name. No, 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 no. It's a big no, no. The number that you will give the scheduling manager is the one on the campaign assignment. Clear? Clear. Okay. Again, this campaign assignment that I am giving to you is just an example. So once you will log in, guys, you will receive a different list because we have around 200 campaigns that you will call. Okay? So this is just a few of those campaigns. I hope this is clear, guys. Okay? Now, next after the calendar number... What do you think are this? 225, 260, 125, and 250. What are these guys? Pricing. Pricing. Very good. Or these are what we call the monthly minimum, minimum. price. Right. Okay. Maybe you will ask me, Miss Olivia, how come they are different? Okay. We have 250, we have 125, we have 60, we have 50. This means that in their area, they have different monthly minimum price. Okay. How much is the monthly minimum price in Tampa? Uh, 225. How much is it in Michigan? For Michigan? $260. $260. How much is the monthly minimum price in Knoxville? $125. $125. And in Portland? $250. Okay. So, guys, meaning if you are logged in Tampa and your customer is cleaning one time per week, you have to mention that the monthly minimum price is how much? Two hundred twenty-five. Two hundred twenty-five. Very good. If you are log log in Knoxville, customer said we're cleaning one time per week. How much will you tell them? One hundred twenty-five. One hundred twenty-five. Okay, guys, listen up. If you are log in in house, the customer said they are doing an in house cleaning. You always. Mention, guys, always mention monthly minimum price, regardless how many times they do the cleaning. If they're cleaning every day, you have to mention monthly minimum price. So, ma'am, how many times do you do uh, What is your type of service? Uh, we're, we're doing in-house. Okay, how many times do you do the cleaning? We are cleaning every day. Okay, ma'am, just so you know, our monthly minimum price for once a week cleaning is $125. Okay? Guys, please remember, the customer is cleaning in-house. They are cleaning all by themselves. So if it's in-house, yes. Yes, Carter. If it's in-house, always Always mention the minimum price. MMP. Okay? But if it's outsourced, one thing per week, MMP, time per week or more, no need. To mention MMP. Okay, please remember this, guys.
Guys, I want you to focus on this because if you miss this on your calls, your call will become invalid. Okay, so if it's in-house, customers said we're doing an in-house cleaning. You always mention the money monthly minimum price, regardless of the frequency. If uh, outsource, if they're cleaning one time per week, that's the only time you to mention money price. But if they are cleaning two times per week, or they are cleaning every day, no need to mention monthly minimum price. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this is good. Okay. Now, going okay. back. So, we have the campaign name. We have the calendar number. We have the monthly minimum price. Now, next to that, as you can see here, Royal Building Care, Hurricane Clinic, Clear Look Janitorial, Proactive cleaning. Can you see those guys? Yes. Okay. These are our janitorial parties. Okay. These are the janitorial companies in that area. Okay, listen up. For example, you are logged in Tampa. It's 9 to 12 Eastern Time. Right now, it's 9.54. So, for example, you are logged in Tampa. So, you will introduce yourself. Hi, this is Olivia and I am with Royal Building Care. That is the janitorial company that you will represent. Now, you're done. It's already 12 o'clock and you log out from Tampa. You will now switch to the next campaign Michigan. You will now say, Hi, this is Olivia, and I am with Hurricane Clinic. Now, it's already 3 o'clock. It's the time. You will log out in Michigan, and you will switch to Knoxville. You will then say, Hi, this is Olivia, and I am with Clear look, Clear look janitorial. Very good. Now it's already six o'clock and you will log out. Now you will log into Portland. You will say that you are calling from proactive cleaning. Proactive cleaning. Very good. Good job, guys. Any questions so far? All right. So, um, uh, ma'am, just clarification. Um, sure. Are we, because for example, that we will be this, um, like, we will be telling that we're going to be logging, like, nine to six. Um, we, we will be getting a different score. Like, yes. Right? When you're logging on nine to six, so meaning you have three campaigns to call out. Okay. okay. Just do it. Yeah. So, say, for example, you will, you will start 11. So you have four campaigns because from 11 to 12, you will still dial Tampa. Okay. Good question. So you, you will still log in Tampa. Say at 12 o'clock, you will transfer to Michigan. Say, for everything example, you, will you will start. Uh, I'm sorry. Just for example, um, every day we'll be logging in like 9 to 6. Every day it will be a different campaign. Every yes. Okay. Yes. So you have to, to shout out uh, on the center attendance. Hey, um, my center will, uh, I have five agents and we will log in from 9 to 6. So during our campaign manager will give you the campaign list for that day. And it is different every day. Okay, it's different every day. So you have to check the list that will be provided to you. Okay, thank you for that wonderful question. Any questions so far? None so far. Okay. None so far. All right. So now we're going to the best part. Okay, the most important part of this training is transferring your call to, to Chris. Chris is the scheduling manager. 
And this is what you want to do every time. To transfer your call to Chris. Okay? Chris is the scheduling manager. Or can someone read this for me? Who can see uh, the screen? Who can uh, read this from Skype? Transferring a call to Chris, scheduling manager. Anyone? Volunteer, please. Ako na lang po. Yeah, go. Go, Samantha. Thank okay. you. Okay. You must provide the following information to the closer. Scheduling manager, name is Chris, for the appointment to be counted as valid for your center. Name of the contact and company they represent. Basically, introduce the contact to them. Then in the comment box, they need to put in-house or outsource cleaning. They can abbreviate I or O. So I for in-house or O for outsource. And frequency currently if outsource or if in-house. So what will be the frequency? They want write a number with an X after it. 1x, 2 times, 5 times, or or more. So, calendar number in the comment box, it should be look like this. 0 uh, or O for the outsource, and then the frequency, it would be like 3 times. And the, I'm sorry, what is the 1 to 1? I forgot. Okay, okay that's the calendar number. Okay. Calendar number. Sam, so, um, thank you so much. Okay. All right, guys, to make uh, this more visual to you. Okay. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. 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 <clears throat> so this is how the witchy dial looks like. And what Sam mentioned on the comment box is this one on the middle okay the one that is highlighted so when you transfer a call it is a warm transfer warm transfer means you need to do a handshake you need to introduce your customer to chris chris is the scheduling manager hi chris I have Olivia here, and uh, she is set for you to schedule. So, when you schedule, uh, when you transfer the call to the scheduling manager, the, the scheduling manager do not know anything, right? Did the scheduling manager hear you during your call? No. No. So, they do not have any idea what happened on your call. The only information... The only information is the information that you will put or you will type, you will pay in on the comment box. So I hope that is clear. Okay. So what are the information? What are the information that you will put on the comment box? This one on the middle, the comment box field. Three information only, guys. Just three information. First information is the type of service. The type of service, which is outsource or in-house. Okay, outsource or in-house. If it's outsource, you type O. If it's in-house, you type I. Clear? Clear. Clear. <clears throat> the second information is the frequency. Frequency is customer, you will ask, this will come from your customer. So you will ask your customer, so ma'am, how many times do you do the cleaning? We're cleaning one time per week. So you will type one 
followed by an X. Customer said, we're cleaning three times per week. So what will you type? 3X. 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 X. Very good. What if the customer said, we're cleaning every day? We're cleaning every day. What what number will you type? One, one times per day. <laughs> We're cleaning five. every day. Every five day. X. Five X. Very good. It five. can be five X or seven X if the customer has Saturday, Sunday cleaning. Okay. So you have to confirm. Uh, we're cleaning every day. So, ma'am, will that be five times per week or seven times per week? So, if it's seven times per week, you will type in 7x. Clear? Clear. Okay. And the third information is the calendar number. Okay, guys. Question. Where will you find the calendar number? Where will you find... The it depends on the location. Depends, depends on the location. On the location okay, where will you find of it? Of our campaign. Okay. Um, may, uh, our boss campaign. usually okay. give that to us. Okay, so where will you find it? Is it on the dialer? Mm. In our computer. In our Is computer, it, it will be sent to us. Is this the calendar number, guys? No. No. Very good. This is not the calendar number. So, where is the calendar number given? It is given on the, you are correct, yeah. on the campaign assignment that will be provided to you by your manager. Okay? Clear? Clear. Yeah. Hope that's clear. The calendar number is on the campaign assignment, not on the dialer, not this one. Oh, my God going to be a big, big mess if you will give this number. Okay? okay. And also, please be reminded, mm -hmm. do not interchange. If you are logged in Tampa, you need to give 9, not 99. Or else, guys, the appointment will be set for Michigan. And it's going to be a big, big mess. It's going to be a chaos. Okay? Be careful. Clear, guys? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, let's do a role play. Who wants to read? It's just reading. Okay? You will just read. You don't need to create your own script. We have a script to read. So, who wants to volunteer? Who wants to volunteer? Are we? Is everybody still on the call? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, hmm? ako na lang po. Yan, Samantha? Yes, po. Yeah, Samantha, you will be the agent. Who wants to be uh, Samantha's customer? Jenny, can you be uh, Samantha's customer? Jenny? Yeah. Okay. So I will be the GK. Let's. Uh, but I don't read. I don't. I don't see the screen. You don't see. You cannot see the screen, Samantha. Is it Samantha or Jenny? You cannot see the screen. Jenny. Jenny, you cannot see the screen. Um, let's call on, guys, anyone? How about Rajesh? Rajesh, are you on the call? Can you be the customer? Yes, yes. Okay, can you see the screen? Rajesh, can you see can can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am, I can see. Okay. So I'll just maximize it. So Samantha and Rajesh, and for the rest in the group, we will use scenario 
1C. Okay? Scenario 1C. And this is what we're going to do. I will challenge everybody. It's not just Jenny or it's, it's not just Samantha and Rajesh. This is for everybody. Guys, supposing the campaign that you are logged in right now is Knoxville. Okay? So, supposing you are now logged in Knoxville. So, Knoxville, the calendar number is what? 122. 122. How much is the monthly minimum price? 125. 125. And what is the company that you are represent? What is the name? Clear Loop Janitorial. Clear Loop Janitorial. Very good. So, you will apply all this information on the script that we will read. So, change whatever you need to change. Clear, Sam? Oh, okay. Okay. So, let's try. No worries. Do not... Uh, <sighs> Do not be scared. We are on training. It's okay to make mistakes so we can correct them. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's do this. At the sound of ring ring, Samantha, you will be the agent. I will be the GK. And then Rajesh, you will read the part of the CN or the customer. All right? Let's start. Ring ring. Hello, my name is Samantha. I'm with Clear Look Janitorial Company. Can I speak uh, read, to the person? Samantha, read the script, please. Let's follow uh, okay. the script now. Okay. Uh, okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello, can I speak to the person who makes the decisions for, your, for the cleaning of your office? Oh, sure. Just a minute. Yes. Rajesh? Yes, speaking. You have to say, hello, this is Rajesh. Yes, Rajesh. Okay. Hello, Rajesh. We are a local janitorial. Hello, Ra hello, Rajesh. My name is Samantha with Clear Look Janitorial Company. We are a local janitorial company. How are you doing today? Rajesh, read the script. Can you see the script, Rajesh? Yes. Okay. So, you're, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, ahead, so, well, Rajesh, just a quick question for you because I know that you're busy. I was just wondering, how are your cleaning is done? Is it in-house or outsource? In-house. It is in house. Uh, please read the script, Rajesh. Please mm -hmm. uh, stick to the script. Rajesh, can you see the script? Yeah. It says here we are actually taking awesome. care of our own space. I cannot, I cannot hear a gesh. Ray, are you on the call, Ray? Yes. Can you, can you see the script? Yes. Okay, can, can you continue as the agent, please? Oh, I'm sorry, as the customer? Okay. 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 Um, Sam, can you start again from, from this part? This is Sam, and I'm with Clear Look Janitorial. Okay. And then Ray will be the agent moving forward. Okay, okay Sam, from this. this part. Hello, this is Sam. Hello, this is Sam with Clear Look Janitorial com Company. We are a local janitorial company. How are you doing today? You doing today? I am doing fine. What can I do for you? Hi, so... Jill, just a quick question for you because I know that you're busy. I was just wondering how are your cleaning is done? Is it in-house or outsource? We are actually taking care of our own space. Oh, I understand. But may I ask, but understand, sorry. 
May I ask, are you actively seeking to outsource your janitorial needs? Check, sorry, sorry. It's now okay. or in the near future? Sorry, it's so small. Well, okay. well yes, uh, if it is within our budget. Oh, that's perfect. One of our sales representative will be in your area next week, and we are checking if you could stop by for a brief five to 10 minute visit just to give you a free estimate or proposal for your office cleaning needs. Actually, that would be fine to stop by. Okay, great. So how many times, how many times per week are you planning to get cleaning done? Probably just once a week. Oh, okay, I just want to let you know that our minimum pricing for one time per week is $125 per month. Is that be okay? Sure, that is fine with me. Okay, thanks. I am going to transfer you over to my scheduling manager who will assist you with the best day and time for your schedule. Can you briefly hold on the line with me? Okay, thank you. At this point, the customer is on hold. So what you need, what I want you to do, guys, is to type the information on the comment box before you transfer your customer to Chris. So let's pretend that the comment box is this uh, is the Skype. So please type in here, everybody. Please type in what are the information that you will write on the comment box. Before you transfer it, everybody, please type here in Skype. No copying, please. Okay, while you are typing, I just would like to remind you that your customer at this point is on hold. And we don't want to keep the customer on the line for a long time. So you have to be multitask before you transfer the call you have to be ready with this information okay thank you samantha thank you ray how about the others please can please type in do not copy no copying i hope you're not copying answers who else rajesh who else are on the call? Who did you type? Yo, Josh. Oh, okay. I think we're good. I'm just, let's just wait for Rajesh. Just, I'm waiting for your answer. Okay, but you can transfer the call now, um, Samantha, since you're able to write your uh, the information on the comment box. Now, transfer the call. Read the transfer part. Hello, Chris. Oh, sorry, just a sec. Hello. Hello, I have Jill with Jim's Plumbing on the line with me. She is set for you to schedule. Thanks again, Jill. Have a great day. Yes, thank you. Let's give uh, Samantha and Ray a round of applause, guys. Clap, clap, clap. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, how do you find the script? Hey, how do you find the script? It's actually nice. It's uh, just a very um, short script. Yes, it's very short. Very straightforward, right? That's it. Just mention to the customer, hi, oh, I'm, I'm Olivia with Clear Look Candy Boys. Clear Look Candy Boys. Thank you. And then uh, it, it, you, you just need to ask if they're doing outsource or in-house, how many times they do the cleaning. And then if it's one time per week in-house, you have to mention my minimum price. If it's more than two times per week on a, in an in-house, mention money, monthly minimum price. If they're doing outsource and it's one time per week, mention monthly minimum price. If it's outsourced and they're doing 
two times per week or more. No need to mention monthly minimum time. After that, transfer your call to the scheduling manager and type the information on the comment box before clicking transfer. And that's it. The transfer, guys, will only take one to two seconds. It's very, very quick. So you have to be fast in typing the information. Okay, let's check the information here. Samantha, correct. Ray. Okay, good job, Samantha. Good job, Ray. Good job, Jenny. You did not copy, right? <laughs> okay, very good, guys. Good job. So this is uh, one of the most important part of your job. You have to key in this information before you transfer the code. Or else, the, the, cell, the scheduling manager will not know what oh what will not know what to do if you will not if you missed the type in this information okay i hope you will understand her part <laughs> if you missed miss to do this okay guys <coughs> we're almost done just three more uh, reminders so just maybe five minutes of your time if you are if a customer said yes to you, okay, yes to the appointment, and you are transferring the call. However, upon transfer, there is no scheduling manager picking up. It, it took you like uh, five seconds, up to thirty seconds, and it's already a minute. And there is no scheduling manager picking up. So what you will you do? Promise a callback, probably. Yes. And here is the script. Can you read the script? Is that Rajesh? Can you read the script here in Skype? If no scheduling manager picks up. Rajesh, can you see the script? Is that Rajesh or Yogesh? So, guys, this is the script. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Customer. It appears that my scheduling manager is currently scheduling with another client. I will have her. I will have her. That's the scheduling manager to call you back within five to ten minutes is that okay so who will call back guys if your customer said yes us oh are you sure who will call back scheduling manager we need to call back the customer and then transfer to the manager okay guys again listen up listen Focus. You have a customer on the line. Customer said yes to the appointment. Yes, I'm willing to set the appointment. And you transfer the call to the scheduling manager. But the scheduling manager is not available. So you will tell your customer, him. Yeah, my scheduling manager is not available right now, but I will have her call you back within 5 to 10 minutes. Is that okay? So who will call back, guys? You or the scheduling manager? Me, us. Scheduling manager. Who's saying us? Who is saying us, Ray? Is that you? Ray? Yes. Ray, why, why you? You're transferring because, the call. Because I think we don't have a... Um, because in my opinion, uh, we are the one who's talking to the customer for us to transfer him again. Or the I'm not sure. Okay, okay. So this will clarify. But Rajesh, you are correct. 
the person who will call back is not you. It's the We're scheduling manager. And how? You will... You see the link below that script? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you click that link, it is called transport callback. And you will fill up the information. So, what is on the information? Mm -hmm. List of name. Yes, very good. So, once you click this link, you will type in the information of your customer here so the scheduling manager can call your customer back. I think, Ray, that's what, what you're thinking, right? Because yes. how can the scheduling manager call them if they don't know? Yes. So this is the answer to your, uh, to your question. Mm -hmm. Because you will fill up this form. And this, for, this is a web form. Once you fill this up and submit it, this will automatically move to an Excel file, which is which our um, scheduling managers are copied. So they have this, they always have this in front of them. Mm, okay. All right. So what are the information right here? First is the list name. Guys, on the list name, since the scheduling manager do not have any information on that call, so you will copy and paste everything in here. For example, you are logged in Knoxville. So you will copy everything on the assignment list. Knoxville 122, calendar number 125, and say look janitorial. You will copy everything, okay? That's on the list name. Center name is your center. Say, for example, the center name is, example, it's TLG. The example, that is the center name TLG. And then your name, your name earlier, Samantha, is the agent. Company name is the company name of your customer. On our script, that is Jim's Plumbing. And who is the contact person? It's Jim. Or it's Jill. Or AKA, it's Ray. Ray is the agent. Uh, the now, contact person, if you were able to identify if she is the owner, then type in owner. If she is the manager, then type in manager. If you were not able to identify the position, then you can just type in here, decision maker or person in charge. Because that's your spill, right? Are you the person in charge of the cleaning in your office? You can put in person in charge. And then the telephone number, which is very, very, very important. You have to type in the phone number. So what is the phone number? Say, for example, the phone number is... Eight seven six five four three one zero. Okay, so you have to fill in everything, and then after that, submit. submit. Okay, here. Yes. Clear. Yes. Guys, let me reiterate re this. The only time that you will use this web form is when your customer already said yes to the appointment. If you have a customer who said, 
Oh uh, no, I don't want to set the appointment today. Just call me back. Will you put their information here? No. No. Guys, no. It's your personal call back. You will be the one to call that customer back first because they did not agree to the appointment, right? So you will put it on your personal callback list. Again, the only information that you will type on the web form, we call this web form, is when your customer said yes to the appointment and there, it, there was no scheduling manager to pick you up. Okay, if there's no scheduling manager or your call got disconnected upon transfer, no need to call your customer back. Just type the information here. Clear? Yes. Clear. Guys, everybody clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Okay. Now, hello. Yes, hello. Who's this? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. But if we have a problem, we can contact you. What do you mean problem? Um, if if you want to ask questions again, we can contact you. What question? About the beach dial. Guys, uh, if it's about the Vichy dial, we have a support. Our support is Jury. He is the best person to ask about Vichy dial. I am here to give you the product and the training, not to check your Vichy dial. Okay, if you're having issues logging in, we have a tutorial to help you. If you cannot follow the tutorial, then you can chat Jury. He is our support. Or you can ask your managers for help. Ms. By the Olivia, way, I have a question. Uh, what's the question? Okay, so for example, for example, in the phone number, then um, you're calling another phone number, for example, an office number or the company's number. What if the manager in charge would like us to call them on their cell phone itself? It is, are we allowed to get the personal cell phone number? Uh, as your question was, uh, it's your customer who initiated to call them on a cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yes, we can because we have the permission of your customer. Okay. But if we don't have the permission, we don't get their cell phone numbers. Okay. Okay. But if it's your customer who told you so, call me on my cell phone. Then, yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So, guys. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Um, so just for example, that we got to see permission from the customer that we can call them on the personal phone number. So uh, what will happen to, to the information? Do we need to verify them again all throughout, like data gathering? Uh, as as we have we mentioned can... earlier, we, we do not do the uh, data gathering, right? But you can or you should. No okay, I mean, on the appointment. Yeah, because ma'am, um, when we transfer it uh, with the VG dial, when we transfer it to the scheduling manager, there will be no information that will be there. Okay, so uh, your scenario is a callback, right? Your first call was on the dialer. So you have a phone number on the dialer. And then yes. your customer said, um, do not call me on this number, just call me on my cell phone. So you yep. have two numbers. So you have to note two numbers on your appointment sheet. And you can add that information on the you call the cell phone. Guys, this is your question. I haven't I haven't uh, encountered 
that type of scenario yet. Okay? It's if only if that will happen, then you have to write the phone number on the dialer. Or you can also note it on the appointment sheet that will be sent by your manager. Okay, did I answer your question? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Any more questions, guys, before I go to the last, uh, actually last two reminders? Any questions so far? Questions so far? None. Okay. So, guys, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, what do you see? DNC. Okay. So, do you, uh, are you allowed to, dispo to use DNC? No. No. No, okay. No. If you have a customer, a very irate customer, I would say, can you please put me on your do not call list? Never ever call me back? What will you do? Oh, okay, ma'am. I'm so sorry to have called you. No worries. I will put your number on our do not call list. First, you apologize. You acknowledge. Okay. But then, when you disposition your call, never, guys, never use DNC disposition. No. What will you use instead? Not interested. Not interested. Very good. Please, please, never use DNC. Just put not interested. Now, Miss Olivia, the customer is really very irate, you know. They will sue us once we dial their number again. If that's the case, guys, please give that number to your manager and your manager will chat it on the group so Mike or Jury can investigate and they will be the one to remove it on the list. Clear? Clear. Yes. Very good. good. Last but not the least is the Answer machine. Reason why I'd like to share this machine to you because we are calling businesses. Right? Calling businesses and more often than not are very busy and Sometimes they can't want to answer the question. Guys, can you go on mute? Can you please go on mute? This is very important. Yes, please go on mute. All right. So, guys, please make it a habit. To click the voicemail of button or the VM button on the dialer when you receive an answering machine call. It says, please leave your message after the beep. Then, toot toot, when you read, when you hear that, that's the time that you click transfer conference. And then hit the VM button, which is on this part of the dialer. Here at the bottom part. It's very, very small. Make sure you hit that. And what's going to happen, guys? When you hit that, there will be a pre-recorded message from my chart trend so you you do not need to say or to deliver your own message once you hit vm button 
there will be a pre-recorded voice message from my chart friend. After this, all you need to do is to click this position answering machine and hit submit. Clear? Yes. Now, what's interesting, guys? When you are, when you hit the VM button, number three, when customer calls back, and my chart trend was able to speak to the customer. My chart trend will close or will set the appointment for you, and it will be your drop appointment. We call it drop appointment, and it will be credited to you and to your team. Isn't it amazing? Right? You, do, you did not do anything. You just click the voicemail button and there you go. You have yourself and a valid appointment already. Right? Exciting. So, I say, if you receive a lot of answering machines for the voicemail, do not get disappointed because it may turn into a drop appointment. Wish your luck that the, your customer will call back and it will be your appointment. appointment. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. <laughs> Very good. So there you go, guys. That's all for me. I hope you enjoy the training. Uh, our training is recorded. So if you would like to go over uh, the training for your reference, for your review, if you forget something, then you can listen again to this thing and you can be refreshed. All right? Okay. So guys, okay. thank you so much, everyone. I wish you good luck. I wish you more, 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 more appointments, more, you know, more money for everybody. All right, so guys, thank you so much Once again, and welcome, welcome to TLT. Enjoy thank the rest you. of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.